Welcome to this week's Phytech Tech Tuesday. This week we're going to talk about the idle control menu under Go EFI Tuning. The idle air control menu allows you to change how the idle air control motor adjusts in certain driving scenarios. An idle air control motor is a motor that allows you to increase or decrease the amount of air going through a passage to increase or decrease the idle speed of the engine. The first setting in this menu is warm idle speed. This is the target RPM you want the engine to idle at when it's at 170 degrees or hotter. This is also an adjustment under the initial setup and engine setup section when you first set up your system. The next two settings are loop rate up and loop rate down. These two settings allow you to control how fast the idle air motor can move to increase or decrease the idle speed. If you increase the value, you're speeding up how fast the idle air motor can move. If you lower it, you're reducing the amount of speed that the idle air motor can move to maintain your idle speed. Use caution when adjusting the loop rate up and down speeds. If you increase it too much, the system's going to overreact and increase the idle speed past its target, or if you increase it too much with a high RPM, it's going to shoot down to a low RPM too quickly. The system will try to learn, but it doesn't make it easier on the system when it's always overshooting its target. If you decrease the values too much, the idle air motor cannot move fast enough to bring your idle speed down or to recover the engine if it's going to try to stall. The next setting is D-Cell Open IAC. This setting allows us to control how much air is going through the idle air control passage when you let off the gas. With adjusting this properly, you'll get a smooth driving feel when you let off the throttle. If you decrease this value too much, you're going to cause a hard, engine braking scenario, which you may like in a manual transmission, but in an automatic you may not. If you increase the value too much, when you go to step on the throttle, the idle air motor is going to shoot open and you can get a little RPM flare right on throttle tip in. Our final two settings are reset learn for TPS and IAC. Both of these values start off at zero, but if you change it to a one and send it to the ECU, you're telling the computer to wipe all learned TPS or IAC settings. Depending on your vehicle, transmission, and engine, these values may have to change accordingly. With your driving habits, you may also want to change how you have the D-Cell open IAC adjusted or how quickly the idle air motor opens or closes. With a manual transmission, these settings will differ quite a bit from an automatic transmission. If you still have questions on how the idle control menu works, be sure to contact our tech support line. You may even consider recording a data log and sending it to techmail at phytechefi.com. If you're not sure how to record a data log and send it to us, be sure to watch our video on that topic. Thank you for watching this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any topics you would like us to cover in future episodes, please comment those down below. And if you like our cool Phytech apparel, please be sure to visit phytechefi.com and get your swag today.